This light has all the features. You got a touch screen, you got hex LEDs, you got battery power, you got wireless DMX. What's up everybody, this is DJ Jordan Nelson. You're on the Phase Reviews YouTube channel and today I have brand new products from ADJ. These are the Element ST Hex Uplights. These are brand new. They are their most compact uplight. They have touch screens built in for easy control, battery operated, wireless DMX, all the features that the mobile DJ is gonna need, and they're even more affordable than the previous Element uplights. These really are a game changer. They're the best value in uplights in the industry right now, and I'm gonna tell you why. Today, I'm gonna give you all the features, the good, the bad, what I think about these lights, real world thoughts, so that you can make an informed decision when you're buying some uplights for your DJ company. Just wanna give a big thanks before we start to ADJ for sending these over for review so that I can help you guys take a closer look at them, not in some noisy, crazy trade show floor, but up close and personal after I've used them. Let's dive in and take a closer look at these lights, and we'll start off by talking about the specs. These lights, similar to the ADJ Element Hex that have been out for a while, super popular light, have four hex LEDs, that's red, green, blue, amber, ultraviolet, and white. They are six watts a piece, so a slight decrease in power as compared to the, orig the original Element Hex. Honestly, I don't notice a difference. I've used both. I gigged with the other ones a lot. I did not feel like these have a reduced output compared to them. Four watts may be noticeable to some for most situations for the mobile DJ, mobile entertainer, the four watt difference, not gonna be that big of a deal. If you haven't used uplights with UV before in the past, it is not only useful for doing an ultraviolet party, for a UV party, a neon party, but also to get more vibrant colors out of the other diodes in the light. So let's say you wanna do a hot pink, can't really do that with an RGB light, add in the UV, you can get a really nice hot pink. If you want a neon green, a lime green, add the UV LED in, you're gonna get a more vibrant color. So super useful, widen the palette of available cover colors for you to use in your business. If you're doing weddings, if you're doing events with a lot of lighting design, color design, these are gonna fit the bill perfectly. Battery power is an important spec when talking about uplights. Happy to say 15 hours out of these guys on a single color. If you're doing built-in programs, that's gonna reduce a little, but again, if you're doing any standard four to eight hour event, not gonna run out of battery with these guys, and they charge back up in five hours. So if you've got back-to-back -back events, charge them up overnight, they'll be ready to go the next day, no sweat there. The housing, like the other Element Hex lights, is super, super, hard, durable, metal, well-built, robust. These are just smaller. They're just shrunken down. They're more portable and easy to take around, which I really like. They have this built-in thing. This is called a snoot, and this is so you don't see the diodes when it's against the wall. Just something so that you're not blinding people. Again, a more professional feature to have available. This sucker only weighs, I think, wait, we got it here, four pounds. Four pounds, that's crazy. Super lightweight, got a handle here, so you can pick it up, take it around with you to your events. Now, obviously, the big thing here is gonna be the touch screen. I'm gonna zoom in and tell you a little bit more about the touch screen, but before we do that, I wanted to touch on the beam angle. It's another spec that's really important to know. And these have a 20 degree beam angle. And I don't know the beam angle of past lights that I've owned, but I was surprised by how wide this one was. And that can be a good thing. If you wanna cover the most amount of space with the least number of lights, having a wide beam angle will help you do that. Now, it's not gonna let you highlight very narrow columns or small spaces, perhaps, but for Pete, most mobile entertainers, most people who are doing a DJ business, they wanna have bang for their buck, cover the most space with the least amount of lighting fixtures. Uh, having a 20 degree beam angle is gonna help you do that. We talked about the carry handle. The other really neat feature is on the bottom, we've got a built-in kickstand, right? So you can extend that out. It actually goes out quite a ways, so, that's a super, super harsh angle, but uh, if you just need kind of a narrow angle, if you have to put your light ooh, away from the wall a bit, you know, you can have some sort of angle there to your light, which will be useful in you know different environments that you find yourself in. But let's talk about the touchscreen, because that's really the big pivotal upgrade to these lights. I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit closer, zoom in, and we'll walk through the touchscreen and why I think it's such a neat feature. All right, so let's talk about the touchscreen, which really is the standout feature of this light. It's gonna make programming and setting up features so much quicker and easier, and when you're at your events and you need to adjust things on the fly, that's a super important feature to have. So with this touchscreen, it's really easy to use. You just hold it for three seconds to wake it up, 
this makes sure you don't accidentally bump things because the screen is pretty darn sensitive. So if someone came by and, and brushed it or something, you, they could change the setting. So it's really nice to have the screen shut off automatically uh, with you know a three second touch. You can see how quickly that went to a menu when I touched it there. So very sensitive. Uh, the touch screen gives you access to DMX settings, personality, and personality has settings such as master, slave, dimmer mode, and Wi-Fi settings, display language services. This is almost like your settings tab. Manual control, which allows you to program the colors individually. For example, we can adjust the amount of green in the light or the amount of red or blue or white, any of the diodes, or do things like change the strobe or choose a color macro. There's 63 built-in color macros. So if you don't want to mix RGB yourself, you can just pick one of these pre-programmed color macros, which is really nice. You've also got internal programs. So it's got 15 different internal programs that you can choose from. You just click this little button on the right. That's the enter to select the setting you want to adjust. So here's speed, so we can bring speed down to 16. So now it's cycling through super fast, or we can slow it down a lot more. Fade time, sound active, uh, and the sensitivity, which is really nice if you want to use the sound active. Uh, and that's the internal program section. Information just tells you things like the temperature of the LEDs and what software version you're running. And the bottom of the light does have a USB port right here so that you can upgrade the firmware should ADJ ever decide to allow you to do that. And the last section is the battery telling you uh, charging time, which is would be we would have if it was plugged in. Current life of the battery, 80% and that's how much time I have left on it. Operation mode, you can put it on saver or standard, right? So saver is going to give you more lifetime, saver eight. Uh, and then load switch just turns the battery load on or off, which is something that you don't need to mess with. <laughs> um, so you can control this light, obviously auto programs, DMX, sound active. They do include an IR remote, which you can just point at the light and make quick adjustment of basic settings. Uh, or you can do the color mixing internally with the manual mode. This light on the whole, uh, there's not really much I would change about it. It's really well done. They kind of took all of the things that a DJ needs, fast, portable, small, long battery life, and combined it into one. But uh, in future version, they could always, uh, I feel like you could always make upgrades to the auto programs. That's not something unique to ADJ or to this light in general, but I feel like the auto programs are lacking. If you master slave these wirelessly, they all do the same thing. There's not really any bouncing between fixtures or color changing between lights. If a manufacturer could implement that, like ADJ, that would be a game changer in my mind. It would make the light shows a lot more engaging. And then the, uh, the narrow beam, or the wide beam, excuse me, the 20 degrees, uh, I feel like some people might want a more narrow beam. In the future, perhaps ADJ could make this lens more narrow with the option to add a diffusion filter to make it wide, giving people a little more flexibility. Again, I think most DJs are going to like the 20 degrees because it allows them to cover a wider area with less lights, and so that's really nice. But this really is a joy to use. It's super robust. It's just all metal, hard design. Looking at the bottom, very simple. You've got the power switch. You've got the DC plug to charge the light, which it comes with. The USB slot to make firmware updates if needed. And then the kickstand right here, which you can adjust pretty easily. Looking around the back, very uh, sleek design. Uh, this will blend in great to your events. This hole right here is if you did want to add a clamp or mount it somewhere, not really what it's meant for, but you do have the option. And again, that snoot blocks the LEDs from the guests, you know, so you're not blinding people when they walk by. Final thoughts on these. I think they're the best uplight product that's been put out in a long time. I love how small and compact and stubby they are. Plenty of brightness for the standard mobile entertainer event. And the touchscreen is a very welcome feature. It allows me to change the things that I need to change very easily. Built-in carry handles, all metal design. It really can't be beat. And especially with the fact that it's coming in more affordable than the previous version, the Element Hex, uh, with the only change being the reduced LED power from 10 to six. Again, didn't notice a really big difference in my eyes. So my final thought is go pick yourself up some of these if you need up lights, you're wanting to get into the game, you don't know where to start, I would say make the investment in these guys and have every feature that you're ever gonna need 
wireless DMX battery operated hex LEDs, a touchscreen to control. It's so simple, anyone could use these and that's something that I really like about them. I'm gonna link to where you can get a pair of these or multiples of these down below. As always, I'm so grateful that you watch. Please subscribe, comment, share, let me know what you wanna see or what you think of these lights and I'll see you next time.